Another week, another exciting episode of your favorite infotainment show, Hot and GC, with me, your baddest host, Miss Meng. Thank you very much, guys, for all the positive feedback you have been giving in relation to this program. Wherever you're watching us, take the best position. It's going to be Hot and GC today, and it is time for us to get it popping with the first segment of this program. Go nowhere, guys. I'll be right back. You can now buy bitcoins and crypto with the CFA and Gia mobile money with the yellow card. Download the app on App Store and Play Store to start trading. Last time it was Meshi and Renew. This time around it is Kamini and Mimi over collaboration issues. Why always our ladies? What's the issue? So fast are still very mad with Kamini even after she apologized to Mimi in a Facebook live session. This is actually what happened. Few days back in a radio interview with Abeka Radio, Mimi was asked if she has a collaboration with the Cameroonian female artist. She said no, not yet. And she added, I quote, I had gone to Kameni. Honestly, her reaction shocked me. She's someone I really appreciate and whose talent I respect. A little bit down, she added. I went to her manager, Vera, who asked me to pay, and I told her it's okay. I don't want any more. Wait a minute. Mimi says Kameni is someone she appreciates so much. Why did she not propose the idea to her first and trust her to relate to her manager for a favorable feedback? I personally think that if Mimi had done such, we wouldn't have had such a saga. Now, when Mimi realized she had to talk to the person concerned, this is what she got. I quote, Despite that, I went to support her, she means Kamini, at the presentation of her debut EP. And while we were taking the pictures, I told her that we have to work on the song. And she replied, No, no, no. See, talk with my manager. Man, if this is really the way Kameni responded, then it really sucks. Even if not me, the thing will bite my belly. How will I check out? On the other hand, it's not wrong for an artist to demand to be paid for a collaboration. I mean, this is showbiz, but there are many ways to do the biz. Kameni is a great artist. Mimi is a great artist too. Maybe an EP release party was not the best place for such important issue. But did Kameni, after the party, get back to Mimi? Or did she try to find out from her manager if Mimi got to her? And my other question is, why did the manager not tell Kameni that Mimi had approached her for a collaboration and she asked for money? Les choses à vérifier, question de ça. Cameroonian artist Tenor in New Bell Prison. Who could have ever imagined? After allegedly trying to escape from the hospital where he was admitted after his accident, Tenor allegedly tried to escape and when he was caught, he was sent directly to New Bell Prison. I don't know why Tenor tried to escape. I don't know if his allegedly trying to escape had something to do with Erika's father, Bright Price threat. I mean, can you accept to pay Bright Price for someone who is dead? Come on! And without any disrespect to the bereaved, you get what I mean, right? What lessons can other Cameroonian artists learn from this? Athletes representing Cameroon in Tokyo for the 2020 Olympic Games get in their best. But looks like their best brought them nothing in return. A delegation of 12 athletes in the domain of Boxing, judo, table tennis, wrestling, weightlifting did not succeed in making Cameroon proud unlike in the days of Francois Bango. None was awarded a medal and many were eliminated in the first round in their various disciplines. What can be the cause of this? I mean, is it that our athletes were not prepared for these Olympic Games? I mean, did they not have proper training conditions? What should be blamed? The athletes? All the governments for not putting in place adequate training facilities for some disciplines. I've been wondering, is it that football is the most important sport in Cameroon? Why are other disciplines so neglected? Even though we had no medal, but at least the delegation that represented Cameroon won the best outfit. Is this not applaudable, guys? Come on. <laughs> Bang, I took pray like the French-speaking people say. It's rather sad that some Cameroonians are ready to risk their lives all in the name of getting a better life. I mean, the pastures are green everywhere. 
but it is left on you to water them. A woman identified as Puma Isabel died in the desert in an attempt to leave Cameroon to Europe. I can't actually figure out what killed her, but from the viral video circulating on social media, this is what those present with her had to say. So according to them, she was in a group of 40 people who were crossing the desert to Europe. She felt sick and those who were with her tried their best to help her, but got fed up and had to leave her there alone because they could not risk the lives of 40 people just to save one person. This is how Isabel died and was buried in the desert. Wow, what a tragedy. Guys, I'm baffled. Seriously, I'm speechless. We all know that Cameroon is not the best of countries, but leaving it is not the best solution either. We all know many people have succeeded in leaving Cameroon illegally, but we have so many people who lost their lives too. And my advice to you is do not undertake such an adventure if you are not strong physically, emotionally, or whatever way. Do not undertake such an adventure if you are not strong. That's my advice to you. And my prayer for her is that may her soul rest in peace. A big congratulations to Cameroonian comedian Mustiklo Karismati who just got married to his longtime girlfriend after allegedly spending 4 million francs CFA for her bride price. From the images, you can see how heavy the traditional ceremony was. <laughs> Guys, that's all what we have for the first segment of this program. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think about all the gist I gave you on this episode. If you're watching me for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and tap the notification button. It is time for us to get it more entertaining with the top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Our number 10 video of the week is coming straight away from Cameroonian gospel sensation Felicia Awadi with this beautiful song titled Most High. Watch and enjoy. At the ninth position, we have this beautiful song from Cameroonian fast rising artist Future. Title of the song is 237 Preacher. Coming up at the eighth position is this beautiful collab song from Cameroonian artist Kobo featuring Young Kobo. Title of the song is GCE Bird. Shelela occupies the seventh position from Cameroonian artist Mr. Bantu featuring Stipak Samo. Our number six video of the week is this beautiful song titled Paper from Cameroonian artist Muna. Loco featuring Bramcito with this beautiful song titled Voyage occupies the fifth position. Voyage, voyage, 
Elle veut bouger à Cocody. Goûter la ticket et le placali. Popping up at the fourth position is this beautiful collabo song from Cameroonian artist Kiddy Boy featuring Mike Monster and Cleo Gray. The song is titled YOLO. Our number 10 video of the week is a repetition coming all the way from Boy Tag featuring Happy. The title of the song is La Fête. God is good, the devil is a liar, boy. Popping up at the second position is this beautiful smashing brand new release titled Black Girl Magic from talented Cameroonian artist Renew. And number one video of the week is this beautiful song from Mochi Award winning Cameroonian artist Magasco. The song is titled Mami Susanna, still topping the first position on our playlist. Watch and enjoy. Mami Susanna, Mami Susanna, Mami Susanna, you the way to Chicabana. Mami Susanna, Mami Susanna, Mami Susanna, you the way to Chicabana. Don't you know the show? That's all we have for the top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs on our playlist this week. You can get your favorite artists on and off the countdown by proposing to us in the comment section your own playlist. Pick of the week coming up right away. On our pick of the week, we're gonna have a vibe of video. Cameroonian first daughter. Brenda Bia says when she's in a good mood, this is what she does. Anything that has to do with Brenda Bia is always the whole vibe. This is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite infotainment show, Hot and GC. I was your girl, Miss Bang. Thank you very much, guys. If you're watching for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and tap the notification button. I'll be right back next week with so much more. And for more information on the Cameroon entertainment industry, follow us on our different social media platforms. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. It's 237 Showbiz, and we are very much active on our website so please if you are not following our telegram channel you are missing out something make sure you join us on our telegram channel which is 237 showbiz and follow our new division 237 showbiz studios thank you very much guys for watching i'll be right back next week do have a great weekend Okay.